Hey everyone, it's Sydney Galpern here from SeeMeCakes.com and today I want to show you how to make this elegant wine glass using Seamy Isomalt. My friend Vanessa Greeley made an amazing video on showing and innovating how you can use water balloons to dip into isomalt to get these beautiful crystal clear orbs and that really inspired me to make my own project using her technique. So I'm going to put her video in the description below so definitely I would encourage you to go check it out because it's a really really awesome technique, very easy to do and there's a lot of information in that video so definitely go check that out. As always, for this project, I'm using crystal clear semi isomalt tiles. This is pre-cooked isomalt, so you don't need to worry about tempering it. No temperatures, no recipes, nothing. All you have to do is pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then 15 second intervals until it's a liquid. The first step to making our isomalt wine glass is to make the stem. So here I have my beautiful two-part stem mold. We're just going to put the two halves together and secure them with some rubber bands and make sure you double wrap your rubber bands, one towards the top and one towards the bottom. Make sure everything is nice and snug and fit together. And all we're gonna do now is pour the isomalt in. Now this is a silicone mold, so you don't need to grease it or powder it or anything. Once the isomalt is cool, it will pop right out very, very easily. So all I'm going to do, I have my liquid isomalt here. I'm going to pour the isomalt. I heated it up for about 30 seconds and then 15 second intervals until it's a liquid. So very, very carefully, I'm going to go ahead and just fill my mold all the way up. There we go. Now you'll notice my ice mold is not boiling right now. I did let it settle for a minute or two once it came out of the microwave to make sure that there's no bubbles being poured into my piece. I'm just going to very, very carefully spread the ice mold, make sure it got to every little crevice. And if there's any bubbles that are sitting on the surface of my piece, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe my torch over the top and pop them. Now I'm going to leave my stem to dry for 30 to 60 minutes until it's cool and firm to the touch with a toothpick. While we're waiting for our stem to dry, we're going to make the top half of our glass. So I filled up a balloon with water. Now Vanessa recommends to use the highest quality balloon that you can to make sure that it's nice and thick. I'm just using what I have on hand right now because I'm just dipping it so this should be fine. And I just filled it again with some water and I heated my ice melt back up so it was nice and liquid. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip this straight in to the ice melt. So I dip it and I'm going to kind of roll it to make sure it covers almost to the top of the balloon. And then I'm going to pull it out and let all of the excess drain. All right, so I'm going to move my bowl out of the way now. And any excess that's kind of still holding off the bottom and draining off the bottom, I'm just going to snip that off with scissors and then just lightly tap it onto my silicone mat to make sure it's nice and flat. And I don't want to set this down because I want it to stay nice and round, so I'm just going to use my little fan here and rotate it in front of this fan until the whole thing is completely cool. All right, the ice malt is completely cool now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and snip the balloon, and I'm kind of holding it out with my fingers very, very carefully, and I'm gonna snip into the stem of it and let all the water drain out away from the ice malt. You don't want any water getting on the ice malt. There we go. <laughs> that works. And I'm just going to grab my balloon out of here. And there is your finished glass. All right, so I've set up my electric griddle here and I just put it on the very lowest setting and I sprayed a little bit of cooking spray on the surface and that's what's gonna give uh, the top of our glass a nice perfect edge because right now it's a little bit rough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and very, very carefully press and kind of go in small circular motions and just melt away the very, very top layer, trying to press even pressure all the way around. There we go. 
there is our nice straight top. All right, coming back to my stem mold here, I can see now that it is completely solid to the touch with my toothpick. So I'm just going to take the rubber bands off. And I'm gonna carefully start flexing it. Just to kind of get the suction away. There you can see, it just pops right out and just flex the other side of the mold here. And there is our beautiful stem. Now, if you look closely at the stem here, you can see there's some bubbles on the surface. That's normal, the silicone can sometimes collect bubbles. So what we're actually gonna do is torch those away. So all we're gonna do is just set it on our silicone mat and use my little chef's torch here. And I'm just gonna melt it until I see all of those bubbles smooth away. All right, so you can see from torching all of those bubbles away, it looks completely crystal clear, just like real glass. So I'm just gonna let it sit and cool for a couple minutes before I touch it or move it. All right, now that everything is nice and cool, it is time to assemble. So I have my top half of the glass that we made here with the balloon, and I'm just going to torch a little bit on the top of the stem. You don't wanna torch on the balloon top half because it's very thin and you don't wanna break it. So I'm just going to heat until it's kind of bubbly. Set the top half on. I will let that cool for just a couple minutes. You can even use your fan to hurry it along if you need to. And there is your finished wine glass. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And also let me know what other kinds of videos you would like to see. To check out the products I used in this tutorial, visit seamycakes.com or there you can also find a list of specialty cake supply stores that carry Seamy Cakes products near you. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep life sweet!